What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 194, or it could be 195 of the Unknown Games podcast. I might have forgotten to actually change over the number right there, but uh, I'm your host, Adrian, and joined today with me, Alex is still out. Don't worry. I'm just, we're holding the fort down for him, but we're plenty. We're plenty, because I got with me Ehe, the DJ hey. kid. Hell yeah. DJ <laughs> and uh, working adult now. Oh yeah, a working adult, like <laughs> working like class adult, <laughs> working class adult. I love how like at one point in time there was just a whole time when I were I would remember I would start a game and I'd be like, oh snap, it has online. Oh snap, it had already finished that game, dude. Wasn't that like a sixty hour game? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the time anymore. I don't think I can even have the time to play Monster Hunter weekly again. Is this, no, well, daily. no, you, yeah. you make the, you just make the time to set up, you know, you make your appointments with your friends or I, I will say like when you first start working, it's not as bad. Yeah. It's not as bad. It's like the older you get and the more stuff starts filling in, you know, like family or friends or both friends and family, kids and. Until you become important at work. Oh yeah. Then you can just ditch it and <laughs> <laughs> you can let someone else deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, the 194, man. like four, no, six away from the big 200. Uh, I was thinking of that too, man. I don't, dude, I don't, I don't know how we've done so many episodes. And the one that I remember the most still is probably, there's like three I remember the most. One was like the, the VTuber episode we did. The jump was crazy. We had, oh, I think, dude. like six yeah. of us on here. And it was just like... There was, that was really fun. I enjoyed it. There was that one game of the year special with, uh, I think it was like you, me, uh, Shiba, and yeah, and Soul. Like, that junk was lit too. And uh, what was my other? Yeah, the, the Geralt's butt. Oh, the sexiest yeah. butts in games. <laughs> <laughs> Those might be my, my top three. Those are the, the three episodes I remember the most out of all and the all things. Of them, <laughs> all of them have me in it. Oh, you know what they do? Oh, Hell it was yeah. a sign, a subconscious sign. But I do look forward to the game of the year episodes a lot. Like, uh, and we're gonna check in on, you know, maybe a, a mid-year check of what we think might be up for a game of the year so far that's come out. And then I know you said you've gotten into the deadlock. It's not a uh, the beta deadlock play test. Play it's test. like a play test. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's alpha too because uh, I recently got into like the. Oh, did you know that? Uh, What's it called that that portal game that portal shooter game? I forgot the name. Oh my oh. god! Uh, Speed oh, Gate. Uh, Speed Gate two. Speed Gate yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got into the alpha of that too. Yeah, and so, that game, I alpha actually plays like an alpha game. It's fun, but you know, you notice that it's still an alpha. Wait, that look, lock is someone like it's already polished, but it's still like play this. But I it, guess, yeah. I guess so. We'll we'll hop on into this. I, I do want to say one thing about Splitgate. The game was fun when it first came out. It went into a full release and then died a year later. And I was really surprised by the fact that there was a Splitgate too. <laughs> yeah. No, they are like really successful, but they are like they have they don't have like the financial to support the game. The, the servers and everything. That's right why they, they yeah, that's why they decided to like let it go. And then, like on this uh, new one, Splitgate Two, like they have the financial baking, and uh, the game actually felt pretty nice to play. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And the concept is now like more of a hero shooter because uh, you have class and stuff. Oh, it's kind of like um Destiny, uh, PvP, I guess. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of like about that. that Destiny PvP Crucible. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I I enjoyed the I enjoyed Splitgate one, so I mean, like if heck, uh, I'll definitely give it a shot. And last time it was free to play, if I remember correctly, it so was. I assume yeah, they'll yeah they'll be doing free to play again. But yeah, for uh for Deadlock, this is a game where essentially this is Valve's. I mean, I guess this is the biggest thing. Just as an overview, Valve is making a hero shooter. That was the whole yeah. kind of 
uh, word and buzz around this game. And no one for the longest time was able to really show it. it but there was all this footage on the Internet of it for, for years. And it was not a secret. It was just this thing of like, yeah, th- there's a game. And it didn't have a name, really. It was just like, yeah, Valve's making another it game. Like, uh, a public secret, basically. Yeah, it was a public secret. And the whole thing with anything that Valve releases is a huge deal, right? You know, yeah. as much as we want Half-Life 3, they're, they've knocked it out the park almost with every type of game that they have kind of self-published yeah. and put out. CS2 released last year, and it was kind of a big deal, too. Yeah, CS2. Yeah. The uh, next um, rendition of CSGO. We also they killed so- CSGO for that. They killed CS. Yeah, uh, CSGO Jeez. is not available anymore. So, like, you can only play CS2. It's like an actual Counter-Strike 2. Yeah. Counter-Strike 2. So, I mean, just to give a, a little bit of overviews that they've had uh, that have made an impact. Like you said, Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike 2, that that whole Counter-Strike thing is has is, is always been massive. Left for Dead, mm. that was a huge Dota. thing. And a, a lot of these things have come from their, their mod scenes. Uh, Dota, like you just said, Dota 2, um, that was, you know... Arguably. That's probably like, arguably like the most successful uh, esport game. That or like uh, League of Legends. I would say like that in League, yeah. Because like every yeah. time they have a, 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 like an actual finals, and I guess we can't leave out Fortnite or like I mean, Fortnite. Yeah. yeah, they'd be throwing. They just have too much money to. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, you, you know, I, I don't think we can ever conf- uh, forget Team Fortress Two. I think Team Fortress Two is like freaking. Yeah been stable since 2007 when it came out game you know it just keeps going it's kind of sad that uh because like that lock is coming out i don't think they will ever come back to tf2 anymore no i, I feel like this game is gonna replace uh tf2 it feels like it, it has a little bit of the quirkiness and everything in there but to give yeah. an actual thing of what it is uh, on the steam page it says deadlock is a multiplayer game in early development for a little bit more details, the game actually plays like a third-person shooter fused with a MOBA. So it's a MOBA. Fu- so it's genre. like um, it's not even like Smite because the 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 control is doesn't even feel like Smite at all. This actually feels like a hero shooter with uh, MOBA. So it's actually really fluid. I, I will say Smite for the most part is a game where. It is also third person. It also is a, a MOBA, but Smite does a more traditional take is what it f- looks like. And yeah. Smite is more, is honestly, it's very much more like Melee or Mage. It takes yeah, it's those. it's not a shooter. It's not a shooter. And this is like firmly a third person shooter. And it looks, you know, it's got this, uh, is it 1900s? Uh, I think it's set in New York. Steampunk it's like aesthetic. Steampunk, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Steampunk aesthetic. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I mean, you you can talk more about it. A lot of streamers have been jumping on it and getting into the beta, or I mean, getting into the playtest and been trying it out and to see like, hey, you know, what is Deadlock all about? But yeah, what 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 are your impressions? What do you think? Is it something that people will gravitate to? We we got Marvel Rivals that's coming up. Uh, I don't know if there's any other real things to really uh, compete, but does it have? Does it? Um, have, yeah, does it hit you the same way Overwatch or Marvel Rivals hits you? I'm not like a um, huge mobile fan because like uh, I don't like really play that kind of stuff except mm-hmm. for like Pokemon Unite for like a month. Uh, I'm still but, going, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna. The, the gameplay for this game actually felt really good, and um, I I love Hero Shooter. I love it. I I love Overwatch. I I love Overwatch. Not anymore, <laughs> but you know. Um, Overwatch is cursed, man. It, it has yeah, the same curse I, as... I love God- Gundam Evolution, which is very sad that it's gone now. Um, we got Mecha yeah. Break coming up. Oh, Mecha Break too, of yeah. course. Um, yeah. This uh, The hero in this game felt like it's so unique that uh, it feels like it's going to be like another Overwatch situation where this mm. game going to... When this game really is going to become like a huge like name in the game, like even with the places already, this game already been uh, pulling like a huge number on Twitch. Um, it has, it has. Yeah, I mean, Shroud has yeah. been, been really playing it. Seagull's been playing it. a lot of. I mean, people are putting it through its ropes, and it looks fast paced. It looks interesting. Yeah, yeah this game, like uh, when you started the game, uh, it's like the tutorial gave you an explanation of what lane is or what like uh, a minion is. 
which right. is uh, good for me, like people who don't play uh, MOBA at all. So I can understand what the gameplay is. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, uh, on that lane, you need to kill the Guardian first before you push to the base, right? Right. And like, right. you need to escort your minion to the Guardian. So yeah, it's basically like that. It's basically... I, I don't I don't want to call it a dumbed down MOBA, but it feels really simple for a MOBA. Well, I think at least say, from what I watch from MOBA, I, I would say I guess the the if I can kind of surmise it a little bit is like a traditional MOBA is the same thing, right? You're going up the lane, your creeps or your minions are following you. You only have yeah. like maybe five or six of them, and they you know they're just like little AI companions that'll deal damage to the enemy, but more so they the fight. Tower. Yeah, yeah, the tower. The, their so, main function is to destroy the tower, so you need to escort them. Exactly. And yeah. they'll end up usually fighting the other minions. And the way that you get XP and gold, which you'll use to buy upgrades and new yeah. crafting items and systems like that, is essentially farming them, but at the same time farming the enemy, like actual yeah. players. Um, this is interesting. When you kill like the minion or like kill your enemy... Mm -hmm. uh, their soul is gonna fly up on the air, and you need to shoot them to get that point. Or oh, you can what? just let it go. Yeah, you can just either let it go. But if you let it go, uh, there's a chance that the enemy the can enemy like can steal actually... it from you. Yeah, they, the enemy Ooh. can steal it from you. But okay. uh, if you shoot it like um, at the same time that you kill them, you just like gain the point. Or like when you melee them, it just instantly goes to you. Interesting. So, so yeah. That's pretty cool because usually last hitting is the thing that's really big in MOBAs. You, you hit the last hit, you're the one that gets the XP. Even if it's like you and your teammate, you'll get the majority of it as opposed to your you teammate. You can just steal so, on this year. Yeah, yeah you can just like great. straight up st steal it. I, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> really cool. And I guess the thing that makes a difference, like you said, is that it is uh, – first person sorry third person shooter it everything i guess shooter. everyone is shooting are there any melee like classes or is everyone shooting? uh it's everyone shooting uh okay. that's like everyone have like a, a melee though like q you just press q and that is gonna be melee oh, okay. uh there's some people who just have the ability that is more focused on melee base mm -hmm. but uh, most of the time it's just like um some of the skill are just like walls and then uh you know like over healing or um or like uh, turret placement. Okay. So we just basically that. Okay. There was one other uh, thing I was kind of curious about in terms of, and this is something for anyone this who's This game also... doesn't have ult, which is very weird for me. Oh, because no I ult? have always, yeah, yeah, every like, every hero shooter I've played, there's always ult, but are this game doesn't put, have ult. Are they going to put an ult? Because even like, every I, MOBA I don't has think an ult too. Be ult. Like, the... That's normal. There's like one ability like at the end that you can unlock, but... Uh -huh. I, that have a huge cooldown, but I don't think that's count as an ult. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. So they yeah. so they they don't have any like super game changing. There's no like game changing like yeah. ult like uh abilities. That is interesting. There's so some you... super strong ability though, but it's not uh, technically it's not an ult. Wow. It's very weird for me. Well, we've got like the gameplay up right now, and there's like two other things I want to say or or ask really. So I noticed that there are four lanes. Most most. MOBAs only have three lanes and then within there there's essentially like left middle like left mid lane bottom lane top lane however top, you want to call oh, it no, yeah, top. Um, and there's always a jungle and there's always mm, yeah. like pe certain classes will go to oh, certain I, I don't jungles think the two time I areas. put I went to the jungle at all <laughs> like, oh, I you, just you, you know I didn't go to the jungle but there is jungle though is it, or do certain do you know well I guess do, yeah do you know if other characters are more meant to go to that jungle as opposed uh, to like like your carries usually go to the there's jungle. definitely like healer and stuff but i didn't pay attention to that because i only played as one character so the damage is uh she's uh yamato okay. like the this japanese lady and she's very fun to play and i've, I've just been playing as her i think that, uh, you know what's kind of cool is like what i've heard from some other reviewers or just like people on other podcasts about the game is like everyone who's gone into the game is like even if they've played you know league or whatever they're just like bro, I, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to shoot stuff right now, but I'm having a fun time <laughs> yeah. shooting stuff, you know? And that, that's, no, the, that's really cool. There's also, like, there's also, like, railing you can uh, go to uh, from your base to the lane. Mm -hmm. So it's so much faster to go back to your uh, to your base to heal. So, like, in most mobile, you just teleport to the base, right? This, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. this like, feels very fluid. Like, I think, like, this one to uh, focus more on their movement. 
because it, their movement is actual fluid too. So you want to escape by movement and go to that railing and go mm-hmm. back to your base. It, you get chased by someone. It does seem like that's like really a really good way to kind of make the map like getting back into the fight really really quick because in some in a lot of mobas like you said when you got to go back to heal like it ain't a joke you might spend 40 seconds or like going back to buy something right yeah it's literally a time you aren't there for oh, up to a also, minute also like i don't think there's like bush or like a uh, place to hide i think because i don't see oh, it oh like a, a bush like, i guess like, you can just yeah one of those like, like a, you could, yeah, a, yeah yeah a building or something <laughs> <laughs> there's no bush at all so like yeah so like trying to ambush people becomes a little bit of a different uh kind of a little bit of a different thing because that's that's something that an assassin role would do or you know essentially like roadhog right if we had to break it down roadhog would be someone he's a little bit tanky he's <laughs> not an assassin completely but he would he, oh. he's the character who hides in a bush yank Got your butt. <laughs> Speaking of which, there is an actual like uh, a Bro. hook character in this game. There's always a hook character, <laughs> yeah. man, in the mobile. Who got the shotgun? This guy's a. Uh, this guy actually. You gotta robot. have the hooks in in the shotguns in these games. Um, mm. I, I heard that the actual designer or the I guess the lead designer or whatever is actually the guy who did Dota for this game. Oh yeah, I, so, I could tell because like Dota have that very specific art style and yeah. this design also like uh, this definitely like Dota like. Like there, you like some so, see how some of the guys they just look like some of them just like just a blob and like you know. I mean, if there's anyone... like, oh yeah, go usually ahead, go like in hero shooter, it's like beautiful people and like you know like hot character. Uh, this game just doesn't care about that. They ain't this got no, just, they ain't uh, got yeah. no uh, thirst, no thirst happening. This, here. this guy just have like cool design and like <laughs> you, you know, but yeah. Oh man. yeah, yeah. I'm looking at this gameplay right now. And I saw also the, like uh, dash and like dash jump where you you have to time it. I don't know like I I still doesn't know how to like dash jump like uh consistently, but mm-hmm. I'm trying my best to to get it. I mean, what's kind of cool about these kind of games is like everyone's learning together, and obviously some people uh, this this has this play test has been going on for like we said a year or more years so, yeah. so there's sometimes t- I've heard that you might run to some crazy people in some of these matches, but for the most part, you know. It's a lot of fun. The, contrasting this to something like Concord, which just came out, and I mean, I'm looking at the movement in this game, and I'm like, well, yeah. Concord wasn't too far off from this movement in terms of having like some of the dashes, but then, and, and it definitely has the gameplay, but the way that, I don't know, like looking at this just seems engaging. You know, like I feel yeah. like it's 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 quicker. It's um, the characters are doing interesting things. Uh, there, it's not like anything crazy sometimes but i don't know it just feels like a, a little bit more of an identity and i feel like okay i can work at doing this in this game you can like try doing new things you know what? like this game is like moba epics you know like i don't know moba i don't know epics? how to explain oh my i don't God. know how to explain it i don't know how to explain it the movement just feels fluid to me so when you when you like have somebody apex, running a wall yeah. is it someone running on walls these days you got titanfall in here too <laughs> gonna have that titanfall mech do that but no, that I, no. Hearing you say that makes it like I'm not gonna lie. That that is a that is a huge compliment because there's so many times I've played like just a new first person shooter, and the first thing I'll do is like run and slide. It, should, it don't feel the same. It don't hit the same, bro. You know what I mean? Like it don't hit yeah, the same. Yeah. <laughs> this game like doesn't have running or like sprinting. They have mm-hmm. dash, but you can turn into th- that dash into like a slide. So yeah. That's that's so many options with the dash. When you can dash jump, you can dash slide, you can double jump, you can jump and then dash. There's a lot of like movement in this. That's what makes it good. And even mm-hmm. better, you can invite your friends to play uh, if you want to uh, get into the play test. It's not really open. There's no. There's not even like a, a launch window. Even like there's nothing. A week ago, this still this game is still like NDA. Like people can play it, you can, people can invite uh, their friend to play, but you're not supposed to talk about it you're online supp- at all. <laughs> yeah, you're, it was, it was. Uh, uh, like, yeah. What 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 is that one uh, article? They just break Paul, the idea. It's like Kotaku Paul or uh, Polygon. Yeah, Polygon, from, Polygon. It's Polygon. Oh no no no! It's Paul Tassi from uh, Forbes, I believe. Oh Forbes, yeah, 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 yeah. And he just he wrote he wrote the article, and it like it's not a t- it's technically n- no one's under an NDA for this, but at the very opening screen they ask you please do not talk about this like you know yeah. publicly or 
I mean, you can talk about it, obviously, but you can't show gameplay and just be all like, hey, guys, I'm reviewing this or, you know, breaking yeah. it down. And this dude, I mean, some people raise the question, all right, people obviously know about this game. It, there's been rumblings. Like, and it's not like you couldn't go online and find footage of it. Everyone could. So why not talk about it? It's not something yeah. that you weren't This game is like the easiest not. league game to find. Yeah, yeah. So, so he was just in his mind doing the journalistic thing of just go ahead and and talk about it and valve said we're going to journalistically go ahead and ban you from playing it <laughs> <laughs> and 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 to throw dirt on the dude's face i'm talking about less than a week later they put the steam page up <laughs> Amazing. they put the steam page up after that too <laughs> and said all right everybody and I, kid you not like a week or so later Everybody was on Twitch playing it. <laughs> oh, this game also doesn't have like even a, a Steam logo up yet. It's just no. like when you click on it, you, you just say deadlock on like a regular e uh, font. Yeah, it's like it does the time soon roll. I'm I think. pretty sure the uh, the 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 trailer or you know the open the the video that they show for the game. It's just the start screen, isn't it? Just yeah, without it the is, start, it is. just without the menu. <laughs> it's just that. So I'm just like. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, but if you would like to get into it and you don't know any friends, and this is how I got into it. Um, I I was I heard on a podcast, the Reddit is popping. Just hit up the Deadlock Reddit and you will see a thread, a community thread that's just like, need invites. And I kid you not, I just went in there, made a post, commented. Ten, ten minutes later. I mean, I got you. Here's an invite. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> so me and hell, we'll we'll probably definitely get some games with this in because yeah. uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it and I've been in that I've been in that Pokemon Unite so long, man. Over a thousand, twelve hundred something. Yeah, yeah over twelve. Oh, also hours. like these playlists have a schedule where uh, it's like Monday to Thursday is like two p.m. to two a.m. So like you need to check your schedule if you can actually play this game. Monday to Thursday from yeah. wait, what was it? Monday to. No, it's like Monday to Thursday is like 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Start from 2 p.m. Okay. I don't know like 2 p.m. It's like 2 p.m. American, I think. It, it has to be there. Yeah, it must it's, be something, it's something uh, American time. 2 p.m. to uh, 2 a.m. That, that, okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then like Sunday to Thursday. Uh, Sunday to... No, no. Saturday to Sunday, I think. So they took like Friday off. I guess for to add more stuff. They also like still adding up Hero too. It's not even like the base roster yet. They're still like adding out. They're stuff. still adding heroes. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, there's yeah. there's a in the game or whatever or like a, I was looking at the Steam page, and like a, it wasn't a comment. I guess it was like the community part, and they're just like, yeah, if you want to play like untested heroes or like uh, unreleased heroes, just enter this into the game, and you'll be able to play them. I'm like, oh yeah. wow, <laughs> you know, or just test them out or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, deadlock. I mean, it's it's. People are seem like they're having a fun time. I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing yeah. um, what what it's all about. But the, it, hold on, okay. Yeah. This is Valve, right? I I am like hundred percent sure there's gonna be some like community market skin stuff like uh, CS:GO or like. Do they want to get back into that? Do they want? Nah, no, they, have, they, have, they never Dota left. They never left. They never left. They never left. No, yeah, left Dota have that. Dota have that. Dota, Dota like has the oh, biggest oh, one too, right? Yeah, well, they, yeah, they're gonna have that, and they're also gonna have those those cards. They're gonna have everything that people can yeah, trade they're gonna for. Have everything. Shoo, man, that that I mean, it, as long as the hero is free, I'm I'm fine. Like, be my skin. It seems like they're they're they should be on. I mean, Valve is pretty good on goodwill and and everything. Mm -hmm. I imagine all the heroes are gonna be free. I mean, if yeah. freaking over not Overwatch, mm -hmm. but uh, no, my Marvel rival Rivals, is like yeah, free, free. Yeah. They they came out. Over, and even Overwatch free. started doing that too, like uh, a few seasons ago. Over, yo, Overwatch. It's still like when I said Overwatch ha is cursed. Like earlier in the episode. Overwatch has that curse where it's like, or other games, anyways, in this space. I think Deadlock has the potential, probably. To kill uh, Overwatch? No, well, no, 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 no. The whole thing is like Overwatch okay. is like Smash. You know how you ever, mm. you know how you play every game that's like Smash, but it ain't Smash. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has yeah, every every game has that feeling like, oh shoot, man, I want to go play some Overwatch. I don't like Overwatch right now. Does this game play like it? Don't play like Overwatch yeah. though. <laughs> 
<laughs> but like, yeah, that log is not trying to be like Overwatch. It's more of a Marvel rival. Is definitely one hundred percent trying to be Overwatch. That that is the game that Overwatch is trying uh, need to worry about. Uh, that the, game is I, trying to fine. kill it. <laughs> They're they're fine. If everything so far has happened to Overwatch and they're still trucking, they're they're still thinking about doing the the six v six, or going back to that. And and they're you know the newest hero Juno. She looks cool. I've seen some stuff yeah. with her. They've made She's some good fun. balance. She's fun. Like they still do the everything that game does right. It still does right. It still mm-hmm. does right. May yeah. there please be that, a second tank. Like Overwatch feels uh, very good. Like I feel it's like tuned. all of the hero shooter I've played. Overwatch felt the best to play. I felt like the most polished. I feel. Yeah. It have that premium feeling. The premium feeling. The heroes all feel like they're, you know, everyone's trying. You know, they they have heroes that were likable. I I, I remember the first time I played Overwatch and uh, I saw the trailers and I I I no joke. I kind of cried a little bit because I was like, shoot, man, there's a lot of representation in this game. There's like a lot mm-hmm. of people who who haven't. Who maybe haven't had their character in a game before, but now they're, you know, their country like, yo, man, I'm repping. Yeah. Only game that could do the Olympics and have most of the people from the Olympics. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still waiting for that Indonesian representation. That you know, <laughs> yeah, y'all need some more games. They have not anyone. <laughs> There's no one. Someone's gonna be like, what about Rashid from Street Fighter? You no, know, that's not. That's the wrong <laughs> thing. Wrong. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> It was like Southeast Asian is usually Filipinos. So like, oh, damn. <laughs> when well, it's my turn. You got to make it happen, man. You got to make it happen. Yeah. We just got to make it happen. But you know what you can make happen? You put your another MOBA, Dragon Ball Project Multi. Oh, is yeah. it literally just called Project Multi? There's nothing. It's, it's just it is still called, Project It is phase? called Project Multi. Yeah, it's like Project Multi. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone on Steam, man. It's like Project Multi. I, I I'm still curious. Like and, and like I said, I play a lot of Pokemon Unite. I play it every day with my friend. And why is Dragon Ball getting into this space? I don't uh, like. This is like Dragon Ball. Dragon Breakers, Ball is right. Like, like really why? Huge. <laughs> yeah. Why? I feel like we are at that point where it just need to be on everything. And this is a <laughs> mobile like, game too, right? This is like this is yeah. It's like mobile game and uh, and uh, it's on Steam too. By the way. So it's like just strictly. Oh, it's on console too. I know like some people play it. Oh no, never mind. It's like probably like they they plug in their controller. But yeah, who? It's gonna be like on console. It's gonna be on like PC and mobile. Which is like I have a theory. <laughs> this game is like being crafted to uh, destroy the infrastructure of uh, the Latam region. Yes, the Latin La- American region. Yeah, Latin America. Gonna, <laughs> this game done. is gonna destroy the infrastructure. It's done. <laughs> Everyone gonna play this game on like twenty four seven. Like your your, to... your 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 currency is gonna like crash down. I'm telling you right now. Go <laughs> <laughs> escape that country right now. Escape that region right now while you still have the chance. Latin America before and this Dragon game Ball ain't a joke. It ain't no joke. Yeah. People don't. If you don't know it, man, it ain't a joke over there. And then <laughs> this game, uh, like mobile too. Like people are just gonna like casually. People are just gonna get into it. And it's on mobile. It's done. It's done. <laughs> It's done for Latin American. I mean, you know what? Maybe for the first time. So we, so Dragon Ball, we've got, we've got this eventually coming out. Let me pull up the Steam page for it as well. But um, you know, they've also got Sparking Zero that's coming out, and I don't care yeah. how people look. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not usually a fan of like the Jump Force or whatever, like the yeah. arena fighters, as I mm-hmm. used to be when I was, you know, when it was cool to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, the stands is hard for that game, bro. They be yeah, out there. It's- yeah, I, I, I'm one of them. It, this game looks very great. He, he, I, 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 I grew up with uh, Budugo in Kaichi 3, so this feels like very nostalgic to me. Oh my good, yeah, it, it's nostalgic. I don't, I mean, I, you know what? There was there was something about those games though, and I remember playing it on PS2 with my friends, like mm-hmm. split screen together. And there was something about like you know getting the capsules and getting all this stuff and beating up people in the mini games and stuff. It was fun. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Like those games were were actually a lot of fun. I don't know how much fun I have with them online. Um, yeah. But but like no online definitely. I uh, I'm not gonna play this game online at all. Probably like with some friend online maybe. But uh, on rank game nah. No way. I'm taking that game seriously because this game is not balanced at all. This game is uh designed as like power like struggle like power um power different stuff 
So, so like if you pick uh, Broly and then your opponent Krillin, Krillin gonna die in twenty seconds. I just want to know how they make how they gonna make Krillin do something good. <laughs> oh, in <laughs> Dragon Ball Project Multi, Krillin is actually really good. So I saw some okay. of the gameplay. So there's the open beta test is from uh, August twentieth to uh, September 9th, or September third. Yeah. Sorry, so it's going on right now. Yeah, it's uh, going on right now. Wow. Um, it's not in all of the region too. It's just like some region like NA. Oh, um, I can request you, you can see like, yeah, it should be said on there. Yeah. Test, test, test region, Canada, France, Japan, Taiwan, United Kingdom, United States. I can't tell. So I, I can't even request. play that. I don't know if I want to request access yeah, or should, not. Should. I should. <laughs> I should. <laughs> this game looks fun, dude. <laughs> I uh, this game like like. If you are like if you're like a Pokemon Unite fan and you want to get into like more oh like another gosh. castle MOBA, I feel like this game gonna be it. You know the one thing I can say about and I gotta give I gotta give them props for doing this, and Bandai Namco is really trying. I'm not gonna lie, they've got Dragon Ball the Breakers, we got Blue Protocol, there was Gundam Evolution, like their online division is trying to crank out mm-hmm. something that will continuously make them money. I feel like at all points. I feel like that Jujutsu Kaisen game was like the 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 end point for them, like the the cutting off point. And like they realized how <laughs> shit that game. <laughs> re, re, wait, hold up. Remember we had that My Hero Academia or Academia? No. The 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 what was it? It was a uh, battle royale. My Hero One. Oh, battle royale. The, yeah. yeah, the battle royale. We had that too. Like t- I, I didn't even get to play it. it. They I don't even know if that game is still alive or not. I don't know, but yeah, but I will say I'll give them this that Pokemon Unite has not done. It's on mm, PC, yeah. straight up. Thank you for at least on putting on. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, no. Oh, uh, project uh, uh, Dragon Ball Project Multi. Uh, project Multi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't like, like straight Unite up is finally on PC. Straight up, freaking props for that. Like, uh, I guess the I guess we should actually say what this is. The Dragon Balls franchise's first team oriented battle begins. Intense four v four team battle. Experience the world of Dragon Ball through wrecking the battlefield with your own strength, or by conquesting the enemy objective with your friends and allies. The heroes, the hero characters you take in control, will grow in strength as the round progresses. And That's to also give like you a only chance, two yeah. lane for this game. Wait, there's really I think the Pokemon only two Unite lanes? is also two lane, right? Pokemon Unite is uh, technically oh yeah three. Uh, two lanes in a jungle, so technically yeah. three, but yeah. Two okay, lanes. so like ba- the same as uh, Project Dragon Ball. Okay, okay. It's also like that, but uh, in this game it's weird because like the 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 jungler, like the the thing that you go into farm, like appears like at the late game. Wait, never mind. Pokemon Unite also does that, right? The like what? the 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 thing that you're supposed to defeat, like it come out later on. Oh, the the, the, the the match, the winning condition. No, like the 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 buff, like when oh, you defeat buffs. something, oh. you get the buff. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The buff spawn yeah. every you know x x amount of minutes. I think typically mm. like three times in the jungle, uh, during the game, uh, the buff yeah, will yeah. spawn. Yeah, yeah. It's basically like that. Okay. Yeah, I might I might just uh. And also, like this game have like uh. I I would say like this game is like stylish mobile because this game a finisher and you you can even also do like double finisher you can just team up on people and do like an animation of the finisher which is great. I can't. I That's can't. why I feel like this game was fun. I'm not gonna lie. I should tell my friend. I should be like, yo, man, you you want it? it's on PC. Which you know the, the thing about it being on PC uh, that I have to say is that I'm assuming some characters have maybe like a skill shot, like they have something that. Cause that's the only reason, I mean, other than it's available for more people. But you know, having a skill shot and playing on a MOBA is really, really nice with the with the mouse. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. It's just really nice and precise. So right now the character are like Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, like the usual stuff. Krillin, Zamasu, and uh, Android 18, and Cooler for some reason, but not Frieza. You, you <laughs> they know, have you know, Cooler, you, but not Frieza. It's <laughs> insane to me. You. You know, you know how they be getting that Android 18 in there, you know. Them Sims, yeah. Yeah, people. That's my people, girl right there. They gotta go for her, man. I don't know. I used to, I used to like the Android 18, and then, uh, then she married Krillin. I lost yeah. respect for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I lost respect. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I guess, because I'm like, man, I can right. be better than Krillin. Krillin is Dang. technically the the strongest human alive in the world. He is, you know, he and, is, and, he, he is, and for so. a long, the longest time, he had the craziest, deadliest ability to just chop anything. Like, dude, dude was deadly. 
And then, if, like, if Saiyan doesn't exist, he's like the strongest thing alive. <laughs> the qualifiers, the <laughs> qualifiers that we have to put in for Krillin to be. <laughs> oh man! Well, moving on. Let's not let's not kill Krillin again. It's already gone too many times. Um. Yeah. So in terms of games released this year, it's been a pretty good release year. Uh, I mm. I would say it. Has it's not last year. Last year was freaking doomsday. Everything was coming out. Bal- yeah. Alan Wake two, Baldur's Gate three, uh, fudge. I mean, I don't. The list goes on and on and on for last year. And this year, we kind of experienced a little bit of a. You know, the industry's not doing as well, and a lot of stuff that was from COVID being made was put out last year. So now we're in the kind of a a little bit of a cycle. I mean, next year we've got Grand Theft Auto five or six, assuming that stays. In yeah, the mix. Uh, it's not gonna be on PC either, so is it gonna just console first, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. They said they were. I think they were focusing on that, uh, that build first. Yeah. Um, and there was something else that's coming out like next year that's gonna be Monster uh, Hunter Wild. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> Wild, yeah, Wilds and uh, yeah, Wilds and GTA in, in one year. Just imagine that. This is if that really does all happen. Wilds is coming out for sure. GTA, that thing could get pushed back. We never know. <laughs> yeah, no, only 100%. Uh, but to, yeah, this year, we, we started out really strong. RPG heaven. Like, RPG freaking... heaven. Like, I've been like nonstop uh, starting like JRPG. They, they got to stop like, all these, mm, these RPGs. I, I just keep playing like JRPG like this year. It's like, Every few months, I just uh, every like two months, I just get, uh, pick up another JRPG that I released this year, which is insane to me. Um, I think I'm... I've played like JRPG the most, like like in a single year. I feel like this is the most I played JRPG. I was really like, like Shin Megami Five, like the definitive. Oh yeah, the definitive. Yeah, that, I, that thing came thank out. Thank you too. for reminding me that I'm gonna. Pick you can up. go buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pick, just pick it just up. Play next. It at work. Yeah. <laughs> just play it at work. <laughs> Uh, the the one game I played from so I, I haven't played a lot of the big games this year. I did play Prince of Persia: The Lost Crown. I thought that was that was a, a really solid game. Uh, but let's just get real. We'll just talk about potential game of the year candidate candidates. We had yeah. Like a Dragon, uh, Infinite, Infinite Wealth. Wealth. Mm-hmm. That was a thing. Yeah. Uh, Tekken Eight. I mean, I would say fighting game yeah. of the year. Tekken Eight. That's straight up. If you want to go platformer. Or, or whatever, yeah. Uh, Banishers, Ghost of New Eden came out. Helldivers 2, I don't think we can forget about that. Uh, Persona 3 Reloaded was also in the mix. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Um, final, I mean, yeah. I, I, honestly, I think really... A rebirth. Uh, rebirth. Damn, like, yeah, how freaking we... rebirth. <laughs> this is not, rebirth. Damn. I'm going to tell you right now, th- that's all in February. Everything we set up until now, that's been February. Yeah. That was all January, fe- like end of January through February. It's not heavy either. That. Yeah, you also have like the release of Ghost of Tsushima on PC. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna um, count that. I'm gonna go lie. Early summer, yeah, that was yeah Ghost of Tsushima on PC. That was that was pretty big. A lot of stuff kind of flew under. I mean, there's there's some good games here. If I if to, to say anything, you know, Pacific Drive. I, I I saw some good stuff with that coming out. Penny's Big Breakaway was fun. I'm not gonna say that's huge. Last Epoch. Uh, yeah, Warhammer. I think that was last year the warhammer 40k game um uh, the space or uh, is it like no i think like oh, warhammer is about to come out right then, I, another a new one is yeah oh yeah 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 um what else jujitsu cursed class jeez why do you want to say that did you guys in cursed class oh my i don't even remember this game come out this year Oh, Holy gosh. shit. Who knows? Uh, Unicorn Overlord was this year. That's definitely up there for like a strategy game of the year or, mm. you know, within that that title or that genre. Um, fudge. I'm, I'm still oh, looking at it. The series at... that I've been getting into, the, the Kiseki game, the Trail to Daybreak, uh, the first arc, the first like, the first game of that arc come out this year too, Trail to Daybreak. It's like wow. released on Ju- July 15th. July 15th? Yeah. And I've been uh, enjoying that uh, series. I've been freaking, like trying to go back to that. I freaking Rise of Ronin was this year too. Dragons, yeah, that's right. Dragons Dogma two and Rise of Ronin were the same. Oh day. my god, I, I Dragons forgot. Dogma! I feel like Dragons Dogma two is like the most forgettable game of all time. 
but remember how much buzz I, I remember had. like people like people, people keep, were keep saying like that's is the game of the year and then like yeah people just point. stopped talking about it and yeah and finally they, like the late game that game really fell off like the story is non-existent at all I think that's from all, what i've heard apparently it's one of those games where that you can always claim like it's always about <laughs> the journey it's about the journey yeah 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 <laughs> Uh, looking over here for anything. Any oh, yeah, like, even Baldur's Gate three was kind of like that because like uh, chapter three was not as strong as like chapter one and chapter two. I, I assume you can only you can only go so long in those really <laughs> long. Yeah, you can only be interested. You you will just remember the good thing about it at the end. Oh, that's true. I mean, I, I think that's what people really liked about Dragon Dogma 2 was a lot of those, the crazy kind of moments that would happen out in the field and things you would mm. fight and yeah. how it would just naturally happen, but be end up being like some of the craziest story you could tell your friends. Um, so we, yeah, that, that I have a feeling that is up there in contention for action game of the year and it's, I, it's packed. Yeah. I, we, I won't lie to you. I, I, I put, Zenless Zone Zero on like one one of my game of the year lists. <laughs> that game is just so fun to me. I just really like that game now. That's another game where I don't know how they they classify the gotcha games because mm-hmm. it's gonna be on mobile game one hundred percent. Oh, the mobile games. I mean, yeah. that game I, I think has some of the, the craziest stylish combat this year for combat games. You've had Dragon's Dogma two. You've had uh, Stellar Blade. You have Wukong, and then like you said, in ZZZ, right? And I think yeah. Out of all of them, for me personally, Stellar Blade has been the best uh, combat. Like, it's the best of all of them. Um, but that ZZZ pop, bro. Yeah. Of, of, of all the non-console it's just, it's, it's ones, like, ZZZ Even pops. though it's, like, simple, it just, it's so stylish that you don't even care how, how simple the, the gameplay is. Yeah. I, yeah. Just like, I just like seeing f- things fly. Oh, god. That's why I cannot get into Wukong. <laughs> Sandland was this year. It was oh, a Sandland yeah. game too. The Toriyama game. game. <laughs> that was like right before he, right after he passed. No, but, yeah, it, it, yeah, it after, was it right was, after he passed. Yeah, like um, within a month after he passed. Huh. Uh, yeah, the, dude, that was this year too. Um, I'll go like Shadow Over Three, but you cannot count that as a as a game, I guess. Tells but it's can still Zara. like that was good, really good. Another Crab's Treasure. <clears throat> um, what else did but we yeah. have? Hades 2 early access technically was a, a thing, but that's not so. What's game your like? What's your like top three that you think is gonna win game of the year or like your top three at least? I mean, I, I and I haven't played Rebirth just because and I haven't watched any of it much because I, I thought you spoiled. played Rebirth. No, yeah. no, man. Oh, I, okay, but for everything I've heard about that game and just the combat stuff and how much fun that they had making it. Like you can see in the game, like they really, it's like they made sure that they did one thing and they, they say like, you know what? We're going to give you everything you didn't know you wanted and everything you said you wanted. And we're going to keep making it better and keep you kind of surprised. And to do that with a remake slash remaster, like all this some stuff. friend that, that say that that game is so long. They just ignored the side quests yeah. at some point. At the game. No, no, it's, <laughs> I was telling my friend started up and that's the only complaint I've heard about the game is like mm-hmm. all of the mini games and, and everything. It's not that they're some are really good. Some are kind of annoying, but at the end of the day, you don't have to do them all. Some of them you, you are required to do, but it's one of those things like, yeah, just ignore it. Don't let the gamer side of your brain take over. Yeah. You don't have to do it all. <laughs> I think that's honestly I, I, right now. I feel like that's going to get game of the year. I know people are really chanting for Wukong, like people. And the game uh, yeah. sold 12 million copies in three, four days. Um, oh, yeah. Um, but we also have Hellblade. Uh, not Hellblade, but uh, that, game, that game did come out, Hellblade 2, sorry. <laughs> uh, Helldivers. Helldivers 2. I mean, if there's any game that did do something similar to like a Pal World this year. Pal World wasn't this year, right? Just All of us this year. Dead gum. Oh my god! <laughs> it went, I even oh, forgot about holy it. Holy crap! Yeah. That, so Power World was January, and then we went into all the RPGs, and then after we came out of two months of that, it was yeah, it was Hell Divers too. <laughs> so yeah. Power Power World's not an official release, right? Like that that uh, can't be was, up there. Is it still like in early access? Because I I still remember it is. It, it, was, it was on. Okay, never mind. 
Yeah, it, it kind of Craftopia is still in early access. Mm. Will it ever come? But, out? You know, they don't care. But they don't care. They, they, just, like, they the just keep releasing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I guess my so, third. So, mm, yeah. I mean, I guess for me, that that would be it. Like FF Seven, FF Seven. Oh, Wukong? Stellar, Stellar Blade and, and oh, yeah, no, Wukong right, right. for me. And each for different yeah. categories. Wukong, I hope, wins something for the the way that the world, like, everything is crafted and designed. It, it feels like they're going to win, like, the technical uh, stuff. I forget the, the name of the word. It's, like, technical something? Technical art direction or something. You know how, yeah, like, Souls art games, like, or like yeah, yeah. yeah, like, they might not look the best, but they have, like, some crazy good architecture. This game happens to do both of those. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great in the architecture and... But environments I was are really nice. Yeah, well, that game is like the scaling, like the scale, like the big scale fight. Yeah, it's kind of like Final Fantasy 16. Coming out on PC. <laughs> Coming on but, PC yeah. though. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. yeah. So uh, for for me, it's it's well, all it's like all action games pretty much. What about I you? agree with you. Like I think like Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is gonna be uh the game of the year. It, it, it will win game of the year. But like for me, my top three is like. Uh, uh, I'm very biased with the Like a Dragon series because I I fell in love with that series during pandemic. So well, yeah, two I, just, of those. I just like yeah, and uh, like, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth it's like my number one, mm. and uh, like a clo- a very close second is tra- Trails to Daybreak because it get me into the Kiseki series. It's kind of like how Xenoblade Three getting me into the Xenoblade series. Uh, Trails to Daybreak got me into the Trail series, the Legend of Heroes series. So mm. I'm like I'm excited to go back to like play the other game oh like God, for wow. my third uh, them it's like i do love some uh multiplayer game like no i'm not gonna say how that was i'm gonna say zzz i forgot yeah zzz is like my third you about to betray bro you about yeah. to betray <laughs> they're gonna be like hey uh, yeah. hey, hey you're supposed to be cutting us a check bro <laughs> where's our check i, I uh, feel like the hell divers. i feel like the most the most like game i've played this year is like gacha game like uh, honkai star rail and like zzz well, I, that is the I, most th- the top two i've played this year well i would say that that's the case because there hasn't been as this was the first year in a while and i'm i'm really glad that there wasn't a lot of stuff coming out and we did have conversely a lot of multiplayer games that that all kind of hit you know once human had a really good launch well i don't know about the launch of, of once human per se but leading what up is... to once human um I, I need to look up once human i never once, heard about it yeah game. once human another game out of uh, uh... <laughs> oh it's a survival game damn it's a survival <laughs> third person shooter but oh, like okay. a little bit of mmo kind of feel to it you also had okay. The first ascendant, which I kind of got into for a little bit, but it's oh yeah, gotta fix I saw that my grind. friend play it for a it's, while. It's it's fun to, to tune out. You had Final Fantasy fourteen Dawn Trail that released mm. as well. Um, so we had like these kind oh, of multi careful like live service game basically. Yeah, yeah, we had like a lot of live service games that we didn't really feel like they were live service games. You know what I mean? Oh fudge! You know what we forgot? You know what we forgot? What? This is exactly what they wanted. This is what they wanted. But. The oh, shadow dude. of the Earth Tree, dude. <laughs> the no, I, I said, said no. it earlier. I Wait, said it you earlier. Said it. I forgot yeah, it then. Yeah, but it doesn't. Crap. It doesn't count as like a game. It's like a DLC. Does it? Even not? like yeah, it's Cyberpunk, best like upco- the Cyberpunk content? DLC doesn't even count. They they oh. give Cyberpunk the 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 best like the best ongoing. Uh, what was it ongoing, ongoing game? Yeah, game ongoing or something game. like that. Yeah. So Which I think if Elden if Rings, like Elden Ring gonna be in it, it's gonna be like on ongoing too. I think, the I think Elden Ring is the only. Oh man, and, and I, I feel like in I my mind, it. It, 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 uh, it, 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 it feels that way too. Because I forgot about yeah, Destiny Two, the final shape that re- that released too. But yeah, oh uh, fudge, Elden Ring. My gosh, I'm still having a, a blast mm-hmm. with that. And every time I think about, man, I think about that. I think about Liza P. Game changed my life. You know, like I feel like <laughs> this year is the last time that the industry should focus on uh with salts like game. Can we move on from it? I I have enough of the genre, dude. You have enough of there's yeah, yeah. I have enough of the well, genre. Well you got this the last much, huh? you, you've got the last Berserker coming out next year, which I don't yeah. know why they made that game a soul like I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Every time I see it, though, it's like, why is this dude blocking more than he's just taking hits, getting cut, and cutting other people back? Isn't he yeah. a berserker? 
what's this? Maybe I think I think that game is going to end up being the very similar to uh to Wukong. A lot of stuff that you want to have early in the game is kind of locked behind a long progression because the game is maybe you know 40 hours or something like that and you can't have it all at the beginning so we need like we need like more power fantasy action game like you know like you feel like you're so strong in the game i need i need another one of that maybe that's why i like zzz a lot because you felt like uh power fantasy yeah like power fantasy i I still like the like final fantasy 7 rebirth or or sorry remake since i haven't played rebirth yet uh but from you know like that combat system's cool just because it's also really quick and fast but at the same time you're making a decision i like that kind of thinking aspect of it too um i but yeah a little bit more action game i mean we've had great action games this year don't get me wrong but it is definitely skewing to uh they're all mixes of souls souls like yeah they're, they're they all hit like it's like hey you're gonna get hit like a souls game but we want you to just hit some buttons and, and, and go in like an action game. But we're going to kind of like restrict there, you in some is, ways. There's one game in like Gamescom that was on uh, the pre, uh, what's it called? The pre. Oh, the, the pre-show? The pre-stream, the pre-show. Yeah. It, it looks shamelessly like uh, a sauce like game. I forgot the name of the game. But oh, no, no. When it's I, when a, I it's look probably at it, Anotria. God it's probably Anotria. Damn. Yeah, so when I look at no. God, damn, the animation, like everything looks like a sauce like game. It, it's the one with the uh, the the puppet, the mask, right? Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Italian I one. Think so it, so I there's think a so. demo for that one. It's actually good. It's actually pretty good. It has a, its oh, own okay. little take to it. Uh, I think what we're getting is these different flavors. For them, they're they're one of their biggest things is they said we don't want a Souls like game to look dark. So everywhere in that game is just like bright, vibrant colors. <laughs> like it's on like a beach coast, and it's like what's the name oh, of the game again? Uh, in- Inotria. I think it's E N. O T R I A. Oh yeah, yeah. I can, I get it. You can probably put like Italian Souls game. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> so it, it and it played pretty well. You can try out the demo. It's on Steam and everything. But yeah, next year we're gonna have, or the year after, we've got a we've got a ton. We still have a ton of Chinese action games that haven't come out yet. We've got like at least three more. Also, I I think like uh, PlayStation is doing the same with the with their like Chinese Hero project. With the they're, they're all uh, Mena, in the, like uh, they're no, all for like uh, yeah. the the Middle Eastern one. They have oh, a Middle Eastern hero project. They've got they, a Middle they, Eastern. Uh, make, yeah, I think they they like announced it like uh, last week, but they are very cool. Hey, like, more 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 like you know, more repetition in gaming and more like uh more like not big budget studio game, uh more uh but other region game which we haven't seen since like no. a while but yeah, yeah. no that's true that's what that's why i was really excited about the stuff out of korea and then out Chinese, of china uh, china and korea is uh, like is so close to uh, on the mainstream again which yeah. is very great for the industry they both have different ways of flavor of the mm. the action the people, the way they design the characters, you know, the, the way they they fight and everything, like it's 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 completely different than like the Japanese style that you were used to seeing. And then like for something like in the middle, I will say what I really like about Wukong is I feel like I'm learning like I I read every darn district description, man. I've been reading. Uh, I've been I spent like probably an hour so far reading reading text in this game. <laughs> are you like familiar to like the journey to the West like story? Yeah. So what's like I said last week? What's really cool is that they've they've ended up. It's not just one story. It finally, it finally sunk in with me. It's not just one story. It's it's, it's like multiple, like it's multiple. So every enemy you kill, multiple they have fable. their own fable, and then that mm. fable ties into another person's fable who's in the region. And essentially, like you're learning the story of every player in the region from the small rank all the way up to the king, and then to the immortal, right? And you kind of start seeing the connections before you do the fights. And I just have these moments like, yo, oh, this is that dude. Oh, I thought he might've been gone from this region, but he's still here. Oh, snap. So that's where that went. And so that part to me has been really, really cool. And it's actually made me want to just read the journey to the West, like straight up. I'm just like, okay, when I finish this, I might, I might just try to find it like a translation and just read it. Cause I feel like I, I'm, I'm learning some part of a culture a little bit. Yeah. 
Journey to the nice. West, like, is like one of my favorite uh, Chinese fable out there, uh, which is like very great. Uh, that finally, like, the Western audience finally get the the to see uh, to like experience the story. Mm. And yeah, because uh, it was very big in like Southeast Asia too. It's not even like only big in East Asia, Southeast Asia, um, South Asia. But yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of. Uh, I think all the games we kind of named, um, I can definitely say Final Fantasy. Definitely say uh, Like a Dragon, um, Wu Kong. I don't know if uh, you know what will be in there, like Persona Three Reloaded or uh, some of these other games. I don't, I don't um, think Persona Three is gonna be on it. That's like a that's like a solid three, and they have to include one of these Ubisoft ones. Either Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to be awesome, more awesome I hope, than I hope that Assassin's Creed Shadow is uh, gonna gonna be good because I'm I, really rooting for that game. I'm, 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 yeah, same here. I'm actually I, this it's, is the first Assassin's Creed I'm going to buy in. There's a like decade. the controversy of this game, right? Because and some people complain about uh, you know Yasuke. Yasuke, and then like I, I I just want this game to be successful because of that because I'm tired of seeing people like trying to you know. Yeah, trying uh, to mock this game because of the history of Yasuke, when right. he is actually actually an actual story, uh, historical figure in Japan. Yeah. And we've had a mm. couple of things with Yasuke in it. None have. I don't. I don't know if any have really done him a lot of justice, or like, you know, have really done it. I at one point I wanted to tell a story with with him in it. Um, uh, he was yeah. like trying to make a manga. That was like six or seven years ago, really. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, and we also have. Uh, Indiana Jones, December 9th. I don't know if that's gonna. That's probably after the cutoff for Game of the Year. But you know, sometimes they throw it in there. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but if it makes a cut, I think one of those Ubisoft games. I don't think Star Wars. Don't think it will get in there. But uh, if Assassin's Creed gets in there, that's a that's a solid four. And they can they can find like, themselves a five. <laughs> I feel like El Hell Divers Two is never gonna be in it. Yeah, Hell Divers Two. And, and Power like World, some I, indie game. Well, Definitely Power some World's indie not game. out. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good indie games this year. Indie, yeah. Also, shout out to all the indie games out there because they held it down this year. If you took out all these indie games, it would be a, a very lonely looking. Be very lonely. Yeah. Dragon's Dogma Two might be thrown in there just cause. I agree. I could see that. I could see. That. I could see that. <laughs> you just be like, "Well, okay." It made buzz. It did its thing. It gave us two character slots too. Finally, right? Maybe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for us this week. I I don't have anything else. I'll probably install uh, Deadlock, and hopefully yeah, my power stays on this week. Before Friday. <laughs> before Friday, yeah. It's like before Friday. It's the craziest thing. Oh, yeah. Thing. Like, I don't know if this playtest is going to have, like, an end date. I don't, because I don't see it at all. I don't see, like, where they specify that this, this playtest is going to end I think on this it, specific date. But I, think, I, don't I think, think it it's just going to keep going. It just, just keeps gonna, going. Gonna keep going. It's, it's just something that was... Probably. Yeah, I think it was something that was already going in its own little weird secrecy thing, but then just got opened up and... Mm. they're like okay well we can take some more people in and do all that i don't think there's even a limit on the people yeah. who can get in so who knows they want to test the going. server they're eternally testing that server <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh valve only valve can do what valve does all them steam bucks man unreal uh but anyways where can uh where can the people find you uh, on the social medias they can find me on x.com. See, yeah, I'm calling it X now. I know. You, <laughs> you've, you've been broken. No, you've been no, broken. No. <laughs> on twitter.com, my, uh, it's uh, just Ehe. You can find me there. I don't tweet as much as like I was before. And yeah, uh, play more ZZZ and read Kagurabachi. I even I even changed manga from One Piece to Kagurabachi. One Piece is the number one for me, but Kagurabachi... Like ongoing is is the best for me. I just like every week. I just I'm looking forward to Kagura Bachi more. That's awesome. 
That's a, that's a good then, stuff, man. But you know why like, Elba might, might change that? Elba would change that because I've been looking for, for Elba for like, what, 20 years? That's crazy. Oh, gosh. The, word, the worst part is like, <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for years. 20 years. That's oh, crazy. my goodness. So, um, my goodness. Jeez, I've been looking forward to this for 20 years. Sadly, that's the how the One Piece cookie falls. <laughs> Sorry for everyone who's going to be getting in on the One Piece uh, remake slash... Uh, one Piece live action waiting to get to where Eh is at. You'll be possibly dead by that time. Yeah. I, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I hope it's gonna like be. it's going to be definitely going to be like a seasonal thing, right? I hope it's like 24 episodes per season. If it's not 24, there's no way they can do anything at all. Well, they did do, uh, I guess, however they did Attack on Titan could be a good way to judge how they'll do it. Because yeah. Attack on Titan, like it was like fairly every season, right? Like it was like every every anime season, there was like a new core for Attack on Titan, um, or at least two no, twice a like, year. It felt from, like from like season one to season two, it, it took like a long time, and then from season two to season three, it took a while. Season three and four was like the closest one, I think. Okay, okay, because there's like uh, a gap where Attack on Titan wasn't there at all. That is true. Mm. That is true. Uh, and then you can find me on uh, Twitch and Twitter uh, and YouTube at Ninja Trickster. Uh, come on by the streams. Streaming uh, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays, and Sundays. Still playing through uh, Elden Ring, Shadows of the Erd Tree. Uh, doing that at least twice a week. And then we're also doing uh, We're OFK, which has been a lot of fun. we got two more episodes of that game left, uh, which about two more hours. But that's been a blast. And then we'll continue doing that and then finding another kind of small narrative game to go with the big baddie of Elden Ring, which I think I'm halfway. I don't know where I'm at in that game. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where I'm at in that game. Period. Oh, man. All right. Well, uh, enjoy. And uh, next week, we'll probably be talking about this Nintendo Direct that is happening in about an hour from now. So enjoy. But isn't a Nintendo Direct what? Oh, it's an indie one. Okay, it's an indie mind. one, yeah. Okay, so I thought it's gonna be like a, a big one. I never, I never heard that. If, it, this, you know, like that. if we're turning up yeah. with uh, what we call what what is it, uh, Silk Song, by the end of all of this, if 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 dreams can come true, hopefully, then hopefully, <laughs> Silk Song. It's coming out today, actually. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that game like? Announced like a long ago. <laughs> the game was Damn. the game has officially been announced so long ago that now we don't even like it doesn't even we don't even know. So, anyways, we'll catch you later next week for another episode of the Unknown Games Podcast where we creep ever so closer to two hundred. That's like two centuries. I think. Bye.